Don't bother me, I'm working. Don't bother me. Right, so what's going on YouTube? So doing a video answer here. I did got a uh, a message from Olga in my Instagram inbox. And basically she watched my entire video, the very first video I did about how to start a cleaning business step by step. She watched that video when she got her LLC paperwork, she got her um, her business license, she has uh, flyers, business cards, she's at, she has everything. So now she's at the point where she's just like, you know what, I got it all. But the problem is, if a business calls me right now, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? She doesn't know how to bid on an account. Um, and then she's also like, she doesn't have, uh, she doesn't know what to do about employees either. So, uh, let me see, make sure I'm getting everything that she wants to know. All right. So first thing first, if an account wants to call you right now, here's what you should do. You need to set up an appointment to give them a free, uh, estimate, a free quote. All right. So what you're going to need for that free quote is. Number one, you need to go buy you a laser measurer or um, be able to have something on hand to be able to measure the square footage, all right? So that way you can add up all the square feet in the uh, building that you walk through. So how you would do it is you'll walk through each room individually, use your little laser and measure the, the length and the width, multiply the length times uh, width, but you can do that later, right? But when you first doing that walkthrough, you just want to get the measurements. After you get the measurements, Oh, sorry about that. After you get the measurements, you want to, um, you know, just jot them down in your paperwork. So the second thing you're going to need out of that laser measurer is uh, a form, a walkthrough form. So what you want to put on your walkthrough form is uh, you want to put the account's name, you want to put um, contact, the point of contact name, and uh, an email number, email and telephone number. You want to put. Uh, how much area of the other building is carpet, how much area is floor, what type of flooring it is. Um, so you want to create some type of form, a standard form that, that gives you all of this information on it. So that way when you do your walkthrough, all you're doing is filling out the form, all right? Now, uh, what else? So when you do so, all right, so you want to tell them, let me come through, give you a free walkthrough. Then you're going to go through there measure do you want to take measurements you want to take an account information you want to ask them anything uh that they any any uh key areas that they're looking for that they want clean and you want to jot all of this down on your walkthrough information sheet all right uh if you guys want help with creating that i can actually help you with that just send me an email and i'll send you a little template of a walkthrough information sheet all right or you can make one on your own but you just want to have one so you can jot down the basic keys for that walkthrough all right then after that walkthrough, you take uh, all the information that you gather to your home office or to your office and you jot it down and you want to either input it into a bid uh, formula software or you can try to kind of figure it out on your own. Um, like I said, I don't really know a full-fledged formula off the top of my head that I can give you, but I do. I personally use a software that I got from the franchise company that, I, that I'm with. And then if I don't use that, sometimes I just kind of, I, I, I kind of, I multiply, I, I calculate how long I think it would take me to clean the building, and I multiply that times my hourly rate. So for example, if I think the building would take me two hours to clean, and I'm charging 20 bucks an hour, I would charge 20 times two uh, per day, and then I'll add maybe a supply fee onto that, and then, um, and that's about it, you know what I mean? So that's how you can come up with how to bid on the accounts again if you need more information on that please email me and also check out my my video on how to bid on accounts on my commercial cleaning um uh youtube channel which is what is it cleaning franchise consulting channel so i got the link in the description to this video as well also when it comes to hiring and, and paying employees so she was asking does she pay them by the job or does she pay them by the hour or what so the best way to pay employees for this line of business is to pay them by the job because if you pay them by the hour, they can purposely get in there and milk the clock uh, just so they can get paid more money. So I pay by the hour, I pay by the job, but I base it off of hourly rate. So for example, I clean the building first, that way I can know how long it should take to clean that building. And then once I know how long I think it should take an average cleaner to clean that building, 
I do, I multiply that up and figure out how much it should cost me. So for example, if I think the building is going to take me, again, same thing, two hours to clean that building, then I would just take two hours times $10 an hour because I'm going to pay the employee $10 an hour. That's my standard rate. All right. So that way, if I'm getting paid in the account $20 an hour and I'm paying the employee $10 an hour, I'm making 10 for not physically working and they're making 10 for physically working. So that's pretty much how you can calculate. That's the easy go off the top of your, your head. By the way, $20 an hour is not the standard for commercial accounts. I was just using that as an example for easy math. Um, and that's pretty much how I do it. So no matter how long they're in that account, that doesn't, that won't really dictate whether how much they get paid is about the job. So that's how I say. Now, if I find that, that that repeatedly employees are taking way longer than what I expected, then I might adjust the numbers and maybe increase or decrease or whatever the case may be when it comes to the pay. But other than that, that's my answer on what you should do. So but don't be nervous. Just let them know. Like, and for example, say if you pass out a flyer, you're out there passing out flyers trying to get a new account. And the person is so excited that they want to let you, they say they're interested right then and there. So what do you do? So basically all you tell them is, all right, well, great. Well, let me schedule up a time where I can um, come back out here and get your measurement. Or if you already have your account information sheet available, your walkthrough information sheet available right with you, you can do it right then and there if you feel comfortable doing it. But I always say try to schedule a next a time, maybe a day or two after that day that you're there simply because... If you're inexperienced and you don't know what to do, that gives you some time to go back, research, Google the information, ask me, or whatever the case may be, so you can figure it out and be as prepared as possible and look as professional as possible, all right? But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Just don't be nervous, and you learn from your mistakes, you know what I mean? So even if you, you mess it up, if you screw it up, so what? You just learn from it, you know what I mean? Now you know on the next time you get an account, you don't do it the way you did this time, but it's all a learning experience. Do not be scared. Do not be nervous. Just do it. Just do it. Get out there and just do it. All right. So thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Hopefully this video was able to help you. And I just really appreciate y'all. Thank you.